Hey guys, I'm Jackie, your reluctant housewife, here to help you find your inner domestic goddess without losing your inner feminist. Today, we're gonna make pumpkin protein muffins. So this has quickly become one of my favorite go-to recipes. Not only is it actually healthy, but it has protein in it, and you're having like a carb, but it's, it's almost not a carb, it's kind of like perfect, it's like amazing. So first things first, you need to have some very, very ripe bananas. So I'm gonna try to see which one's less dead inside, and that's the one we're gonna use. So, oh, it's normal, yay. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna wanna have really ripe bananas, cause the mushier they are, the easier it is to mush them, which is what we're gonna do. So take a full banana, take the skin off, clearly, it's disgusting. <laughs> Stick that in. We're gonna add one fourth cup almond milk. And you know how I am, I like to add, but use your measuring cups. And then one cup pumpkin puree. So I made these earlier this week and I love them so much. So I just saved my pumpkin puree. Don't get, you know, pumpkin pie mix. That's not what we're going for. We just want some smashed baby food. And we're just gonna mash our banana, our puree and our milk and just get that started. So I love that this is a healthy muffin because I love carbs much like you do, I'm sure, and I can't eat them all the time, but like you can, I'm sure, as well. So whenever I find something that's really delicious and actually good for you, I'm thrilled. So we're gonna do one fourth cup applesauce. You're gonna need one tablespoon vanilla. I'm using a bourbon vanilla, because if you watch this show, then you know I like bourbon. That's also gonna help sweeten your muffins without actual sugar. We're gonna need two tablespoons coconut oil. Make sure it's nice and melted. We're gonna need one fourth cup of real syrup, real maple syrup, and I got Carrie's, because I like that name. All right, there's some more sugar. At least it's natural, you know, at least it's real. Then we're gonna do one teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of baking soda. I like to keep my baking soda in a bag. It's so much easier instead of that weird little box they give you. Like I never, I never understood that box. I didn't like it. I felt like it just didn't make any sense. Maybe it makes sense to you. If it does, please let me know what I'm supposed to do with that box because God knows I don't know. Okay, we're gonna need one fourth teaspoon salt. So just splash that in there. I don't really need too much for that. And one teaspoon cinnamon. I'm just gonna eye this as well. Just put as much as you want. Last thing, we're going to add, very important, our oats. So we're gonna do one and a half cups of rolled oats, which are just the ones you expect them to be, just these normal Quaker oats. So something I learned when I made this the first time, I just threw it all in the blender and it took forever to blend. So putting it in a nice big bowl and then mushing it together really helps the process when you do put it into the blender. It's gonna be so much easier and not as stressful because these are stress-free muffins. Oh my God, I forgot the protein powder. That's like the most important part. Sorry, put the blender back together. Two servings of your protein powder, usually vanilla, unless you want to do like chocolate pumpkin, which would be very tasty. Okay. When it starts to smell like smoke and the, the engine is burning, you know it's blended. Once you've blended your whole batter up, we're gonna turn our oven on to 350 and then make a cupcake tray with little liners and fill them and those will be all muffins. I don't know what that was. Okay, grab a spoon, grab your batter. It's gonna be very scoopable. So just do a nice big flop. And you're gonna to wanna to do about halfway full, maybe three quarters of the way, like, you know, just judge. Okay, so it makes approximately 11 muffins. Maybe add a little bit more liquid and you'll have a full 12. But I get 11 every time I do these now, so <laughs> just, a, just a heads up. All right, stick these in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes. Just make sure to check, you never know, it could be a little less for your oven, your oven might run hot like mine does, so it might be good for 25 minutes. Our muffins are done. Oh. Oh, it's so good. I can't believe you're healthy. Oh my goodness. 
You can have two of these as like a small meal, either like in the morning or in the like late afternoon. Have them with some tea, almond milk, coconut milk, something like that, whatever. They're so, so, so yummy and so fall inspired. Thanks for joining me guys. I'm Jackie, your Reluctant Housewife. Catch me at yourreluctanthousewife.com on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, ooh, Pinterest, <laughs> all kinds of social media, your Reluctant Housewife or just Reluctant Housewife. And I'll see you next time, guys.